James with us now. Joseph been outstanding through the weekend and appears to be dry coming up for the next couple days, but that is changing. That is, yeah. I mentioned there's actually going to be some rain on the way. It's been a really dry January so yeah. far. Uh, usually we get about five inches of rain at the airport by the time we wrap it up. I mean, I'm not sure. We'll see what happens over the next couple of weeks. We still have a lot of time in January left, but we haven't even accumulated one inch yet. And it's the 13th. Okay, so we have uh, Monday and Tuesday, no rain. Maybe late Tuesday night we'll watch, but it looks like we're going to stay pretty dry. Wednesday doesn't look that impressive either. I think the wettest day coming up this week, if you're starting to make some planning now and you know you're going to be outdoors doing something or you just want to get from one spot to the next, you want to avoid the rain, I think Friday is going to be the wet day for us here in Portland. All right, let's take a look at our weather headlines. For tonight, I expect it to be dry. High pressure still in place, and that's going to leave the rain out of here. But some locations we might see some fog developing and that breezy east wind will continue for tonight. At least the Western Gorge and parts of uh, the Portland metro area. Rain will return on Wednesday as we just discussed and I showed you there and it will likely kind of stick around in some sort of form or fashion by the time uh, we get to about Friday and into early of next week and high pressure is still in place so we got to kind of kick this thing out and we need to break it down before we start to see a couple disturbances roll on in. In the meantime, everything's just going to be around the edge of this. All the activity to the south, off to the east, to the northwest, but right now, Practically the whole Pacific Northwest is just seeing dry weather. Okay, with that, we have some sinking air. It's kind of trapping some particulates there uh, closer towards the surface. So we still have the air stagnation advisories and those sections there of gray till Tuesday at noon for locations like Salem up towards Vancouver and then over towards the east side of the state or central section of the state there. Uh, the Dallas towards Pendleton till Wednesday at 7 p.m. Air quality has been still pretty good. I've seen a couple locations where they've hit the moderate level but it hasn't been an issue at this time. So if you're doing some early morning runs, uh, maybe in the evening hours too, uh, you might be dealing with a little bit, but it should be okay. Okay, so gorge wind so far. We've seen gusts to about the mid 30s, 35 miles per hour there for Portland. Same for Troutdale. I expect the wind to remain pretty strong there for locations of the Western Gorge. You have this cold air. It's all to the east and then it's funneling the wind through the gorge. It really kicks off on the western edge there and that's why we've been seeing some strong wind that goes for locations up towards Astoria too. Again, that offshore breeze and it's keeping things really nice there for the coast. Wind gust forecast is going to stay kind of in place uh, for at least the next day or so, maybe through our Tuesday as well. Tomorrow morning, temperatures back to the lower 30s. Grab that heavier jacket, get the kids ready for that too, but the afternoon should be really nice, especially up and down the Oregon coast. Temperatures back into the 50s. Nice sunny day, a little breezy at times. Up in the valley, we have temperatures in the 50s there. Real nice uh, down to the south, maybe slightly cooler. Madras, Burns, Pendleton, even Ben should be in the 30s. Might start off the morning with some freezing fog which could cause some issues for the morning commute there for Central Oregon. So give yourself a few extra minutes and then Hood River temperatures in the 30s to get from a camp about the same as well. No, it's really nothing occurring over the next 24 hours. Here's Wednesday at 930. It's just going to be that fog in place. We'll finally start to see some more clouds kind of, you know, penetrate this high pressure area. And uh, that's going to be on Tuesday. And then eventually the rain will arrive on Wednesday. It's not going to be much though, Trevor. So if you have anything on Wednesday, it should be a big deal. 47 degrees on Wednesday, Thursday, 50 Friday. It's going to be the wet day, some showers on Saturday. Even when it's raining, it's still warm. Yeah. Pretty good. No cold air coming. All right. Thank you, Joe. So come